Hi, dear viewers. Today we shall read a poem, namely When You Are Old, written by W. B. Yeats. First, we shall uh, know some important facts about the writer. William Butler Yeats, a famous 20th century poet and dramatist, was born at Dublin, Ireland in 1865 and he died in 1939. He was so well known that he has been awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in 1923. So let's know about the poet. Was he 20th century poet and dramatist? Was awarded Nobel Prize in Lanko. Nobel Prize for literature when 1923. What's his uh, date of birth? It's 1865. Where? Dublin, Ireland. And he passed away on in 1939. Unki date of death. Hai. Now we shall come to the poem. This poem, When You Are Old, is actually an extract from Yeats's collection of poems called The Rose. The Rose, Unki, Ek Nazmo Ke Kitao Hai, Us Mai Se Le Gai Hai Ye Poem. Is Mai Se Ek Iktibas Hai. And this poem is addressed to Morgan. It's an address, a dedication to Morgan. Morgan was Irish revolutionary with Inkilabi um, Lady T. Ireland ki. Irish revolutionary. And she was also Yeats's beloved. Yeats's beloved. Uh, you know, William Butler Yeats was desperately in love with Morgan. But she rejected his love altogether. She never responded to his love. It was a kind of a one sided relationship. Yeats's love finds expression in a number of his poems. He also talks about his emotion of love in When You Are Old. This poem, the present poem, is about the expression of Yeats's intense and true love for his beloved Morgan. So the poem is about its expression. Expression of Yeats's true and intense love for his beloved. The poet also compares and contrasts true love and false love in this poem. So it is he compares and contrasts true love and false love. In this uh, class, we shall discuss the first stanza of the poem and the uh, next two stanzas, stanza two and three, they will be dis discussed in a separate class. So before reading the stanza, we shall know some important uh, words from the poem. Are you thinking? First word is here, grey. Grey hair means white hair, grey hair. White hair. Spade ball. Now full of sleep, to feel sleepy. Dozing. To feel sleepy. Neen ka ajana. No, uh, nodding by the fire. Means dozing by the fire. Dozing or feeling sleepy. By hearth or by side. Aag ke samne, sar ka jukna. Now let's uh, read the stanza. When you are old and grey and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. As I already told you, this poem is an address to Morgan. यहाँ पे जो शायर है ये इस नज़म को मुखातिब करता है अपनी beloved मार्गन को जैसे वो उनके साथ बात as if he is talking to her जैसे वो उसके सामने उससे उसके साथ बात कर रहा है 
that you are old and grey and full of sleep and gnawing by the fire, take down this book. As the title of the poem suggests, when you are old, he asks her, a time will come. He is talking about the future time. The poet visualizes, he imagines a future time. He asks her, a time will come, a day will come, a day will come, when you will lose all your beauty, youth and pride. The poet tells his beloved, one day you will become old, एक दिन तुम बूढ़ी हो जाओगी and you will uh, hair will turn grey आपके बाल स्पेड हो जाएंगे and you will feel all the time tired, exhausted and sleepy हर वक्त आप थकी हुई महसूस करोगी आप आप आपको नींद का गल गलबा होगा हर वक्त nodding by the fire and you will spend most of your time uh, near the hearth, near the fireside of uh, uh, Zadatar Bakat, Aake Samne, Yaniki Garmiki, Garmiki Liapna Bakat, Guzarugi, Aake Samne, Chuleke Samne. He gives her a future command here. He asks her, he gives her a suggestion when you turn old, Jab Tum Buri Ojaogi, take down this book. The poet, this book is her, The Rose, the collection of poems. वो इस किताब के बारे में और शायरी की किताब के बारे में जो उसने डेडिकेट किया जो उसने एड्रेस किया अपनी बिलाउट मॉर्नॉन को टेक डाउन दिस बुक उस वक्त आप मेरी शायरी की किताब उठाए ना अथा लेना and read it slowly. Isko aista se padna. Think over it. Ponder over it. Iske baare mein aap gaur kar lena. Iske baare it will remind you. It will recall you your beauty. Aapko apni Kupsurti Yadaiki, the past, your past beauty, you will remember your uh, glorious past. Apko apna haseen mazi yad aega. When you were young and beautiful, jabab jawan thi, jabab kupsurti or haseen thi. So you will think of your soft look of your eyes. Apko apni aakhon ki nazakat yad aegi. And your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. You will remember, you will recall the beauty and the depth and the uh, depth of your eyes of uh, you will see how deep and dark your eyes was aapki aankhein kitni khoobsurti aapki aankhein kitni gehri thi once uh, his beloved to realize that this beauty and youth they are not going to last long ye hamesha nahi rahenge you will lose these things uh, one day ek din bhi ek din aisa aayega ye chalti hui jawani dal jayegi aapki jo husn aapka jo husn wo jawan hai ye naz bad rakhi ye attitude ye khatam ho jayega and you will be very old a boori ho jaoge so here the poet describes how morgan's uh, morgan uh, journeys from uh, from my uh, youth to old age, from glory to decay of uh, Margan ko kaisi Margan ke jo jawani hai uska jo hasna hai, wo kaisi zawal pazir hota hai so this is uh, all about the first scenes uh, so before taking your leave let's know what poetry devices what uh, figures of speech the poet uses here firstly, he makes use of this poetic uh, device here, next great and full of sleep is a symbol so he has used it, symbol here it is symbol for Approaching death, imminent death. Approaching Ani Wali Mojah because Morgan uh, uh, would be at the verge of her death. After that, he used imagery here like old and grey and full of sleep, gnawing by the fire, soft look, shadows deep. Had we get a picture, हमें एक image मिलती है, हमारी जहन में एक picture आती है, एक ऐसी लड़ी की जो बूढ़ी हो चुकी, बाल भी spade हो उसके हो गए हैं, वो आपके सामने बैठी है, और इसकी आंखें जो वो बहुत खूबसूरत है, they have soft looks, so this is the use of image दी, I think this is all for today, we shall discuss stanza number two and three in the separate class, next class, till then, goodbye.